Hey, what's going on DDO players? Axel here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and apply a custom UI skin into DDO. And what a custom UI skin does is it creates a cosmetic effect to the various hotbars and uh, UI windows in the game. So the first thing you need to do is go to the website and I'll put this website below in the description. This is just one of what are probably going to be many different UI websites. This is just the one I'm going to show you in this particular walkthrough. But you go to the site and you need to go here to download the, uh, the data for the UI skin. So as you can see here on the screen, there are a few different choices here. Uh, black bird, purple bird, and blue bird. You can pick whichever one you want. So what you need to do is first of all click on the one you want. There's going to be a download screen. So you'll just scroll down here and click download now. The next screen that it brings you to is going to give you an option to either donate or not donate to the creator if you'd like to. It's free though, you don't have to. So um, whichever one you decide to do, uh, either donate or click this no thanks, just take me to the downloads link. So after you do that, do that, just download it. And in most circumstances, this is going to input the download into your downloads folder. So just keep in mind where that is because you'll need that later of course. Okay, next we need to extract the files, and you may need to download a program to do this. I had to. The program I downloaded is 7-Zip, so I'll put the link to that below. And after you've got a program downloaded, you will go back to the folder where your files were implement or inputted. So you need to go to the folder. You need to right-click, click Extract Files, and then click OK. And that's going to convert the files into a format that you can actually use for the game. So keep in mind which one is the extracted version. It should be the version with the little, um, the little yellow folder. And this again is for this is for Windows, not Mac. It might be a little bit different if you're doing it on Mac. Okay, next step, you need to go to your this PC link, then go to Documents, then go to Dungeons and Dragons Online, and then at this point you need to create a folder called UI. I've already created one as you can see here but if you have not created one you need to right click and hit create new folder and call it UI. After you do that you need to click on that UI folder you've created and create a new folder inside that UI folder and name it skins. Okay and after you've done that then you're going to take the extracted files that you've downloaded then extracted and you're going to cut and paste them into this skins folder. And if you've done that, that's it. Now it's just time to boot up the game. Your skin might have been applied automatically, but it has not been on startup. Just go to the menu and then you're going to go to options. Then you're going to click on UI settings and then scroll all the way to the bottom and there's a little drop down arrow that says custom user skin. So you just click on that drop down arrow and select the new skin. Okay guys, that's it. Enjoy your custom skin. It really, it's something that's very easy to do. It's very quick, so it's definitely worth doing. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Take care. Mm -hmm.